these people are thieves. Thieves. Sing it from miles away. Say what the things you say. Hello everyone, let me move down. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shan and today I have an exciting exciting video that I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing an extreme prep for a trip I'm going to which I'm really excited about I'm gonna quickly read to you guys the a few of the things that I'm gonna be doing in this video this is just a few because some of them are gonna be a surprise you're gonna see as the video goes on so I'm gonna obviously show you guys how to pack now this is can you please stop Bo. Um. I'm gonna show you guys how to pack because I think it's like super important. Some people pack, overpack, they underpack, or they pack things that they end up not wearing. Like, it's a lot. I'm gonna show you guys my foolproof way, foolproof way of how to pack just the right amount of clothes and also be happy with what you packed. Um, I'm also gonna show you guys where I, when I go to get my lashes done, my nails done. This is how my nails look right now. If you could just focus kindly. Now it's gonna focus, it should. There we go. I'm actually gonna get my hair done. Right now I have this wig on, as you guys can see. I really don't like how I installed it this time. Like I'm not really feeling it, but it's gonna, it's gonna do. I feel like you can really see the lace. That's why I'm not very close to the camera. But yeah, if you can see the lace, you're too close to me. You're back up, please. I have a workout class that I have scheduled. I'm gonna be doing like a certain diet because I'm trying to be snatched. You guys are gonna see everything. Um, so I'm gonna have all my like sections of the video so that you can click whichever one you're really interested in seeing. But I really hope you guys watch the entire video and also subscribe if you like uh, my content and like this video as well if you enjoy what you're watching. Um, with that being said, let's get into the in-depth how I pack for a trip section of the video. Okay, so boom, this is how I pack, this is how I plan the outfits that I'm going to be wearing on a trip. So when you have your trip, you have your itinerary and basically you know what you're going to do for each day of the trip. For this example that I'm going to be using here for you guys to understand, because this is actually like a formula, like this is mathematics. Um, so I'm going to do a simple example just so that you guys can really visualize how I do it for myself. So let's say that you have a two-day trip. The first day, you're going, um, you're gonna go out. You're gonna go to the mall, right? Walk around in the mall. The second day, you have a really nice dinner that you're planning. Okay, so those are two separate things. So the first day, um, to go to the mall, you're gonna have a plain white T-shirt, ripped jeans, sneakers and then a crossbody bag boom that's outfit number one for the first day to the side day two you're gonna go for a bougie dinner now what i would do is i would repeat the ripped jeans i try to repeat as many um clothing items as i can especially big clothing items like bottoms um just so that i can get to pack less things so we're gonna for the second day for the dinner we're gonna have the same ripped jeans but this time we're gonna have a uh, top a different type of top let's say a turtleneck right and we're gonna have some black heels and we're also gonna repeat that same crossbody bag um but now instead of having a crossbody i'm gonna hold it and like remove the crossbody but it's the same bag right now what i'm gonna do i'm now going to list each item of clothing in like a bullet in bullet points right so that now that bullet point list that you have is what's going to help you as you're packing to make sure that you have everything you're going to need but this allows me to know as I'm packing I'm gonna tick off this has been packed this has been packed this has been packed so yeah that's basically how I do it and I actually did do it for this trip um, as you can see here this is I have a whole list of things and then I have down here each day um, what I'm supposed to do for each day a trick to not overpacking is like I said trying to repeat as many items of clothing as possible in this example I'm giving you guys here. It's the ripped jeans that we are repeating and the bag um, So just a few items like that. I think bags can be repeated as many times as you want It's not gonna affect your outfit and you're still gonna look cute also things like jeans for me I try to repeat bottoms a lot, but 
just because you can't really notice bottoms as opposed to if you wear the same top with every outfit um so yeah that's just my formula that's how i pack things now all of the things in my list i do have them here and i'm about to start packing them however i do want to show you guys now another thing that i i'm going to be using i bought two of these things from Shein these are packing cubes I saw these so much like on reels on TikTok um, that people have been using and I'm like I am so going to be using that because it looks so efficient um so it has a makeup bag or like a, a cause not not just makeup but like cosmetics and like products shower products things like that and it also has this metal thing that you can hang like in the bathroom next we have the packing cubes themselves this I think has five in it and they have different sizes so one two three four five six so it's actually six plus the makeup bag which is seven and i think this was like 27 dollars on shein which i actually i'm so fine with because some of these are actually quite big and i feel like i can fit a lot of things in now um because i didn't know that this came with a cosmetic bag i did buy a separate cosmetic bag from shein but i think i can use one for makeup and then one of them i can use for like body products so this is just the same but beige this one you can't really see that well because of the lights or whatever but it's basically the same as this um so yeah packing cubes will be listed that will be linked down below let's go ahead and pack so that is how i have packed my suitcase i do have another suitcase that i'm allowed to take as well but i think i'm going to fill that up with my filming equipment the shoes that did not fit in this uh suitcase and what else I'll just think of other things to put in that bag or maybe distribute some of these things but they just look so perfect ah they just look so perfect like these packing cubes are kind of it they're kind of like the future like the future let me see if i can take a quick picture of this for my story Hold on, maybe I can take a picture of that for my story as well. Hold on. Nobody move. Mo is here to say hi. Say meow. Meow. Did you just fart? Ew. Oh my god. Like, Mo loves to fart so much. I am done packing basically the things that are remaining on my camera equipment like I said the next time you're gonna see me I'm gonna be in Kenya to do the rest of this video and yeah this is just the beginning of the video because I have so much stuff that I'm gonna do things you're not gonna expect because I'm trying to be I'm trying to be creative I literally googled how to prepare like how to look the baddest so it's gonna be me um see you guys in Nairobi in a second 
hey everyone so i am now in nairobi period i literally just landed it's it's been like 30 minutes since i've entered this airbnb um on to phase two we've already finished the parking situation on to phase two which i want to introduce of getting ready this prep for my trip is juicing i'm trying to get snatched I'm trying to get snatched and I was like why not just try juicing for like a couple of days because right now it's Thursday and my trip is on Sunday so I want to try juicing not just like fully juicing so basically what I want to do is be juicing in the morning so only drink juice in the morning at lunch I can either have juice or have a smoothie and then for dinner I can have like actual food but and also make it as healthy as possible have a lot of vegetables in there things like that no chips no freaking nothing deep fried okay i'm just trying to be just it's gonna be a little detox for my body try to get me you know the vibes so um obviously i'm in an airbnb there is nothing here i'm gonna go to quick mart which luckily is literally opposite of my airbnb i want to show it to you guys it's kind of loud though but there it is i don't know if y'all can see that but that's pretty my right now so that's my reflection that's me i'm carrying a whole tripod by the way i need to get like the handheld ones anyways yeah so i'm gonna go there try and get some juices um i'm kind of i'm kind of scared because last time i was in nairobi i actually went to this quick mart because i was staying close by this area as well and i bought a fresh juice and the fresh juice was off like it was rotten it just like it was like beer you just it was like a tss, like you open it it goes tss. i was like mm -mm so i'm hoping this time the fresh juice is actually fresh and i also made the mistake of not reading the date so i'm gonna make sure i'm reading the date it needs to have been juiced today within the hour um so yeah i'm gonna go grab the juices and then i'll come back when i have the juices So I'm just hoping they're good fruits in now. Then I have this sugar cane and ginger juice basin. Um, then I got some cranberry ocean spray, the classic cranberry juice. I think I want to be mixing some of this up. I just have emergency cereal. Temis is the best cornflakes. Forget Kellogg's. Kellogg's is more flakes. This one is more corn. So if you want some good cornflakes, Temmies, I'm so sorry. They just have, they have flavor, like. Anyways, <laughs> all the videos that I've watched about like juicing and stuff like that. And when you're just doing a detox in general, like it's like super hard. And then you get to a point and you're like, it's whatever. Or you feel like it's whatever, it's whatever. And then you get to a point where you're like, absolutely not. I need chips and a burger in my body. Anyways, we'll see. Bro, I'm so mad right now. These people are thieves. Thieves. Thieves, 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 thieves. Look at what happened when I just tried to open this smoothie thing. Oh 
ain't no way. Yo, quick mart. Count your days, bro. If you saw how my camera looked right now. Jesus. Look at how my camera looks right now. Nah, good night. See you guys tomorrow. fresh juices from zucchini which is actually where I should have been coming from the beginning these are the ones I am taking watermelon carrots and coconut water and I have failed
style of juicing today. Okay, I did it for breakfast, but I'm gonna have this. Hey guys, so today is the next day. As you guys can see, my hair was done. This is just how I styled it for today. I did my lashes, but my eyes are super red. I don't know if you can see, hold on. I think I'm allergic to lash glue. Like I've just concluded. I've just concluded that I'm allergic to lash glue. So I'm happy that I did my lashes a bit, like I did them on Friday. And my trip is on Sunday, so at least my eyes can get to heal or whatever. Just got ready. I'm gonna go do my nails. This is how my nails look right now. If could just focus. They're not bad at all, but I do have a specific look that I am going for for my trip. By the way, guys, I'm going to Cape Town. I don't know why I'm acting like... Hello. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not gonna post on my stories. I've decided I'm gonna post on my stories like the whole thing as it's happening like live. Normally I like to like take all the pictures and then post after my trip when I can like settle down and like actually post things. But this time I'm like, no, y'all are gonna see it live and direct. So if you're not following my Instagram, go ahead and follow my Instagram. I'm so late to my nail appointment. It was supposed to be at 11 and it's 11.34, but it's because I had to redo my makeup so many times because this eye kept on tearing up. That place looks crazy. And I'm asking you to ignore this whole situation. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up when I come back. I'm stressed right now, cause I'm late. Um, Alex is gonna do my nails. Alex the nail pimp. You guys should know him, he's Rondon, but he's based here in Nairobi, he is so good. Like every time I get his nails, they do not come off or chip or anything. I have, I've had this nail polish on my toes for like, it's giving one and a half months. No cap, like the gap of where the nail polish is, it's giving fresh tip. Like my nails right now, it's looking like fresh tip, but it's just really old nails. So this is carrot and sugar cane mixed together. And I, had, I, I did juice yesterday, but I peed six times while I was getting my hair done. Like it was kind of ridiculous. I literally had to tell them I'm so sorry, but I'm doing a juicing thing. They were like, we get it. Like that's crazy detox and, and stuff. Like you have to pee so much. But I literally peed six times. So I'm really scared for my nails. It's gonna be the same thing, but I'm trying to be snatched. Today I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna try juice in the morning and then eat lunch which is gonna probably be a late lunch. And then after, I'll do juicing at night.
on the noise and your feelings. When you speak, all I can hear is silence. Running back from all the pain and violence. Big tunes now is Hello, everyone. So I am back at the house. They did my nails they actually couldn't do my feet because i went there really late because of the makeup situation i told you guys earlier so basically alex did not have time to do my feet but i'm going back tomorrow to actually another salon in the same building to do my feet i'm gonna go really early in the morning come back get my bags and then go to the airport so but my nails though let me show you guys in the mirror do y'all see how good my nails look gold tip are you dumb like are you literally dumb and i told him gold he did gold bro he was not playing i said alex i want gold he made it work he made it happen i know it's out of focus but it even looks good when it's out of focus my fingers are dry absolutely love my nails i've never been disappointed when i go to alex like he's a professional bro you like you see you see the professionalism everything is the same height same size the shape is there everything is just there so today is the last um step of the prep routine actually guys i remember i mentioned that i was going for a workout class it turned out to be full unfortunately but now i'm gonna do a whole exfoliating routine routine i'm about to take off this makeup do a face mask and then i'm also gonna do a full body exfoliation moisturizing everything my eyes are still red that's why i'm trying to keep the camera far but you guys can see like when i say red i mean red this one is not this one is not as red but they're both super red so i'm trying to have you guys back but moving on to my makeup removal and my mask So the first thing I'm gonna use is these wipes. Now, I never, ever, ever, ever use wipes, but I bought them because I had put mascara on and that day I was supposed to go for my lash uh, appointment. So I just had to buy wipes so I can wipe my eyes before I go into the lash appointment. But now that I've bought them, I don't want to just throw them away. That's wasting, so I'm gonna be using the wipes until they're done so might as well and also wipes are good when you have lashes just so that you can very precisely take off your makeup but wipes are really bad for the environment I do not recommend wipes at all okay makeup is off I'm gonna go in with my glow force turmeric face and body balm alright boom so next up I'm gonna go in with the glow force turmeric gel mask let me show you guys. This is how it looks. It's basically like a gel. So I'm going to let this sit for like 10, 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower. So to exfoliate in the shower, I'm gonna use this. To moisturize, I'm going to use this. If you could just focus, please. The Glow Force Multi-Use Butter. Uh, this is a new one that I've started. This is the caramel scent. Can you all see my face? Close up. Ooh, look at my hair. So blonde, period. Anyways. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes when I'm in the shower.
Good morning, everyone. So <clears throat> today is the day that I am leaving. Today is the day of my flight. But the last thing I'm going to do is my toes. Like, I can't even zoom in. You guys can just try and assess from all the way over there. Let me hurry up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my pedicure in a bit. So yeah, bye. Guys, I am so, so upset. Like, I go to get my nails done at that, that salon. And I made an appointment for 8. I felt like I was late because I got that 8.06. I have the Uber thing. I can screenshot it if you want. I got that 8.06. So um, I thought the pedicure person would be there by 8 because I had told them 8 o'clock. Bro, I sat there, 8.10, 8.20, 8.30, okay, she comes, cool, basically now, because it's 8.30, I was gonna do the full pedicure with the scrub, the everything, everything, soaking, I can't do that anymore, it has to be the dry one, cool, I tell her, I'm like, hey, I can't do the soaking, let's just go to regular, so I sit down, she doesn't ask me any question. She doesn't ask me what do you want, what shape do you want, nothing. And at this point, I'm on my phone because I'm trying to like get all the documents ready for my trip so that I, when they ask me for things, I have like an album in my photos where I just put everything, COVID certificate, ticket, hotel booking, everything in one folder. So I was just moving everything to the folder. So I don't realize so this chick has already started filing down my nails now by the time I look up and I look by then she had gotten to the baby nail like she had gone big da -da 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 -da, to the baby nail she had filed my nails down to nothing first of all she made them round I come to you with square nails what would possess you to think, ah, let me file them to round. My nails are square. My toenails are square. That's the shape I always do. Even though my nails were, that's, it's square. She made my nails like this. All of them. So I look down, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I want them square. She's like, they're too short to make them square. This is now she's done one foot. I tell her, please bring, just let me get your file real quick. I get her nail file. I make all my, to my toenails on this foot square to show her that my nails are not too short to be square because they're always square and my, nail my toenails are never long. I don't do long ass toenails, but they're square. I literally did everything on this foot. I said, she said, okay. I'm like, these toes are already messed up. You need to put an extension on the big toe so that at least I can make that one square and they can the big toes can at least match, right? Bro, she goes ahead to put the extension. She's working like this. I'm like, okay, time. I'm like, I keep on telling her, you know, time is really going. Time is really going. She's not listening. I end up filing down my own nails. She, so, she gets the bucket of water. I said, there's no time to start digging. and I said, mm -mm, there's no time for that. Start painting them. Now she's still glowing this one on. But the paint and everything was there. I was like, you know what? Let me. I start painting my nails myself. Put them in the gel machine. Get them out. Second coat. Put them in the gel machine. She's there. I finished this whole foot. Two coats of polish plus clear, gelled, cured, everything. She hadn't yet started one single coat of polish on this foot. So I wait, I wait. Mind you, I was supposed to leave there. I was gonna be, it's gonna be, it was gonna be 8, 8 a.m. to 9. I said, okay, because I came late, I'll do 8, 10 to 9, 10. I'll give myself an extra 10 minutes. Bro, I'm checking the time, it's 8.20. She 
she finishes doing the things at like 8 30. i go up to the counter she already knew that i was not happy she knew i was not happy i go to the counter i'm, I'm trying to imagine how much she's about to charge me for for what just happened okay <laughs> I go to the counter, I ask the receptionist, I'm like, so how much is it? So the receptionist calls over to the chick says, oh, how much is it? 1500 1500 mind you, is the full price, no discount, nothing, for a full pedicure. She said, it's 1500 I said, okay, for what? I said, 1500 for what? She goes now, she goes over to the to the uh, uh, no i told her 1500 for what seeing as i did one foot by myself why am i paying 1500 i wasn't rude to the receptionist because the receptionist had nothing to do with this i was literally just asking a simple question so the receptionist gets up she goes to the nail shake they whisper -ra -ra, the nail then the receptionist comes back and she's like she said the nail chick said you don't need to pay anything it's free I said no because one thing I'm not gonna do is I don't know I would just feel bad obviously it should be free first of all but I would feel bad because even though she didn't do much she did something so I was like no I did one foot and she did the other so I'm gonna pay half if it's one five I'm paying 750 boom I paid the 750 left waste of my time this foot looks really good my left foot looks good my right foot you know round my my toenails look like m&ms bro m&ms she found my baby toe you guys know baby toes literally take one year to grow the baby toenail she filed it down when i say down anyways i have to go to the airport now but that sums up the entire prep vlog i feel bad that it went like on a bad note but i think my gold nails really make up for it my lashes look cute hair lay period so yes this is the end of the prep vlog um thank you guys so much for watching it i'm so excited for my trip ah it's gonna be my first time in cape town i'm so excited for it and i'm gonna be vlogging every everything obviously so make sure to watch that once i post it and yeah thank you for being with me for my preparation for this trip and i really have to go so see you in my next video